All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about breaking down, I would say for the most part, the best of the Mora knives. This is gonna be pretty much every Mora that is under $70, under $100 for sure, but pretty much under $70 and talking about them. The only thing, the only major knife I would say that I don't have here is the Mora Bushcraft Black. I have personally owned it, love it, but I do think that there is a good amount of redundancy in this lineup. So the Mora Bushcraft Black is excellent. It is not on the list because I no longer have one, but rest assured I have used them before. Now, first up, we're also gonna go smallest to largest. So there's also that. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So of course, we're gonna go over this smallest to largest and give a brief summary of what I think these knives are best for. So first off is the Mora Eldris. This is the smallest knife that Mora makes for the most part to my uh, awareness. Um, this thing is tiny, but it's not a bad little guy. And I really do think that the Mora Eldris has good promise as a bushcrafting knife, especially as a secondary. It is really truly designed to be a neck knife. So as a neck knife, that is designed to be a backup to a larger knife, say something like a Garberg, this would be an excellent kind of paired knife and it's going to be able to do a lot of your smaller tasks, things like food prep, very well. And I think the Eldris is overall a really cool knife, especially if you're looking for a tiny neck knife specific blade. All right, stepping it up, we have the Mora 511. Now this one is also the same size and length as the Mora Robust. It's just a lot thinner, so we're gonna put this one beneath it. This for me is something that I would say is an excellent beginning knife for bushcrafting. If you're trying to get younger people who are not as blade or knife savvy into the field, this is a really great knife because it has a very prominent finger guard, so you have a low chance of cutting yourself. These are also very cheap, indispensable or disposable knives. So if it gets ruined, wrecked or damaged or broken, um, this is your only out about 11 bucks. All right, now we're beginning to step up into the knives that I really do genuinely love from Mora, except the Eldris. I love the Eldris. The 511, I'm kind of like, it's okay, it's not a bad knife, but it's also not like the best of the best. So the next one up is the Mora Robust. Now this one has been with the Mora lineup for a while, same to same with the 511, but this is kind of its facelift. This is the modern version of the, the Mora Robust. Of course, it's still made out of carbon steel, C100 or 1095. And this one's biggest claim to fame is the fact that it uses that eighth of an inch thick um, spine on this guy. So you are getting a pretty robust or stout blade. It is now still a three point six inch blade so it's not going to be as long as something like a companion or a clipper here but it is going to be a thicker more stout blade so for me this is where we start to get into the knives that i would seriously consider just like mainline frontline use and the robust is probably one of the best because it's a 15 dollars knife and there's not much that this guy can't do of course like with most cheap moras you're going to want to grind the spine down so that you can sharpen it so you can strike ferro rods with it but outside of that this is pretty good my pretty much good to go. Now, one thing that's worth noting about the Robust over the things like the 511 is that the handles do look very similar, but the Robust is actually rubberized. And that's something that I really like. And honestly, most of the knives going forward here will have rubberized handles. All right, next one up is the Companion slash Clipper. Now, this one is about 3.9 inches, so it's just over a quarter inch longer, if you will. It's really not much noticeably longer than the um, robust or the 511, but it is a little bit longer. So take that for what it's worth. Now, one thing I kind of dislike about the Companion and the Clipper as a whole is they have that thinner blade stock, so they have the more narrow Scandinavian grind, but honestly, it does work just fine and it's really not that bad. All right, next one up is the Mora Kanzbul. This is the Kanzbul. It is essentially the light version of the Garberg, but it is made in 12C27 Sandvik steel, and it's, it's not a bad steel. The other thing that the Kanzbul has as a differentiator from the Garberg is it has that compound grind, so you have a thinner, very thin tip, and already this has the thinner blade stock, so you're not dealing with a terribly thick blade to begin with, but it thins out even more in a kind of reminiscence of the Mora 2000. This is a very similar blade profile to that. So it's a neat uh, 
idea and it definitely adds you some extra slicing around the belly so if you're you know skinning or processing um, food or game animals this is going to be or going to work better because it's much thinner around the tip and then you have a more robust back side for doing more industrious tasks like feather sticking so it, this is a pretty good well-rounded blade i personally like the uh, rubberized handle once again it is very grippy this is this something that i've mentioned in other videos i do wish the garberg would have a more similar rubberized grip or texture pattern but it does not all right, next one up, of course, is the Garberg. So the Garberg is designed to be the more survival, heavy duty, hardcore knife. It is the eighth of an inch thick blade stock from the more robust. This one also is the carbon version. So once again, similar to the previous knives we talked about, it's the C100 or 1095, but similar to the more bushcraft black, which we don't have here, this one is DLC coated to help prevent rust from or out of box. Aside from that, the handle is pretty good. Like I said, I do wish it was rubberized, but it is a fully plastic handle. And of course, this is a full tang knife. So unlike any of the other knives we've talked about here, and this is actually the only Mora on this list that is going to be full tang. Now, personally, in my opinion, as I've mentioned in other videos before, I've never had any issues with my um, smaller or non-full tang Moras in any type of realistic bushcrafting circumstances. Of course, because they aren't full tanged, if you do try to push them to their limits they will break but for realistic wilderness applications these knives are going to be strong enough now last one up and taking quite a jump in size so here's a mora garberg you can see that the um, pathfinder is much much larger it has a 6.7 inch blade this one once again similar to the mora bushcraft black and the garberg is a c100 or 1095 blade steel and it is fully dlc coated now this one is definitely leaning more into your survival task knife because of its blade length and its size you're going to be able to span larger pieces of wood but getting back to some of the more um, original kind of premise of moras this does have a fully rubberized handle so you're going to have tons of grip it's going to be warm in the cold and it is going to overall be a solid performer so the pathfinder is a pretty crazy knife it really was one of those survival knives it didn't make sense until it did but i was actually pretty happy because when i made a video on this knife it was actually sitting there were actually quite a few people that chimed in there and said that this was one of their favorite Moras. So while it's kind of a niche product for Mora and has kind of a cult following, it is still valid and a decent survival knife, especially for its price coming in at around the same price as the Garberg. So it's about a $60 knife or $68 knife. Same with the Garberg, it's about $68. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my breakdown of the Moras that I have. There are definitely a few others that I'm missing like I said most notably the bushcraft black but I have owned one and uh, the bushcraft black has the same handle as this so it's going to have lots of traction lots of rubberizing um, so that, that's a plus but it's going to have basically the blade of maybe not quite this but a similar blade to this guy but with that black DLC anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and I'm out